The big anti-drunk driving campaigns have been around since the 80s, but many people still don't get it. Just today, the feds recommended that the legal limit be lowered from the current 0.08% to 0.05. So we asked Joe Vasquez to show us what's really the difference in that three hundredths of a percent, Joe? Well, is it can make a dramatic difference as demonstrated by one of my colleagues using a miniature breathalyzer. KPIX 5 producer Wilson Walker is drinking on the job. Come on, Dia. He's helping us conduct a test with the help of a breathalyzer on loan from Backtrack.com. 0.02 after one beer, which is frankly sort of a sobering thought. Wilson weighs 180 pounds and he has just eaten a half a cheeseburger while watching the game. The test, how many drinks until you reach 0.05, the legal limit proposed by the feds today. There you go, it's 0.055. Uh, so you are over the limit. Over the limit. Two beers. What goes through your mind knowing two beers, that's it. How many people went out tonight watching the basketball game, had two beers or more? and felt perfectly all right to drive home. The NTSB says the current legal limit of 0.08 has saved lives for three decades, but dropping it to 0.05 would save even more. It could potentially save between 800 and 1,800 lives a year. It's going to make more people, I guess, probably eligible, eligible for penalty. Don't know that it's going to solve the problem. That's one drink. I've never thought it was a good idea for me to drive on one drink. That's three beers. I feel pretty buzzed. And uh, fortunately, I don't even own a car in San Francisco, so I'm not faced with the choice of having to drive in circumstances like this. Thank God for Muni. And the folks at Alcohol Justice and Marin tell me that a hundred countries, more than a hundred countries worldwide, have levels of 0.05 or lower. But here, all 50 states are at 0.08. There was a lot of resistance today to the idea, Liz, so don't look for any changes anytime soon. And I should mention, Wilson lives two blocks from here. He will not be driving, nor would he. Right, exactly. And it just proves the point. If you're ever in any doubt, Take a cab, take Muni, get a safe ride home, don't get in a car. Absolutely. All right, Joe, thanks. Well, the Bay Area